So we're starting to see the ability to customize uh, Salesforce Lightning Experience more and more. So the spring 16 release just had a whole bunch of new features um, around Lightning, including the ability to edit record detail pages. So that got me thinking around, you know, what's the opportunity for customization here? Um, you know, how much am I gonna have to write myself? And what's out there on, uh, on the App Exchange, which is somewhere which I have visited, but I didn't really find anything that was, that was useful for me uh, in previous releases. So then I was clearing out uh, the other weekend and I found this good old fashioned CD. And for those of you who have memories before Java, you'll remember that there was a very vibrant uh, movement around the use of components for Visual Basic. And that was really useful for somebody like me because it made me be much smarter than I am. I could use all the uh, other programmers' expertise, use their brains and, their, and the, the fruits of their labor, and I could put those into the applications which I put in front of people, and they looked fabulous, and it allowed me to do a lot more things. So with the arrival of um, editable record detail pages in the Spring 16 release, I thought it might be good to go back and have a look at the App Exchange for Components again. So here we are on the home page for the App Exchange for Components. And if we have a little scroll down, you'll see that they've got all of the nice features around the App Exchange in terms of finding and filtering and previewing. Um, and there's 59 components to choose from at the moment. Now, that's quite a lot because you know, there hasn't been a lot of activity around these things in, te in terms of deploying them out into the wild. So I don't know what's good, I don't know what's bad. To be honest, I don't even know what's out there. So what I wanted to do was to start to dig in, install, and try these things out. Now with 59 components to choose from, I don't really know where to start. So I just plumped on the most popular component. Uh, so that turns out to be MultiView Calendar. Uh, so when I had a look at MultiView Calendar, you could see that that's from a company called Terra Sky, and um, they've had three reviews, all of which are five stars. So that's got to be good. And I was encouraged to see that there was um, a bit of a blurb around it, and um, you know they they'd, they seem to know what they're doing with these component things. So I thought, okay, let's go and have a look and see uh, what it can do. So here I am in my uh, developer edition of uh, Salesforce for Lightning Experience. And what I thought I'd do as a test would be to add the calendar to the accounts uh, record detail page. So let's just load up uh, an account record there, Burlington. And because I've enabled the pilot feature to be able to edit the pages, uh, I can now open that within the app builder. As if we need a reminding, we get a little banner at the top there that reminds us this is a pilot feature. So really, I'm just trying it out. Trying it out. I don't. I don't have uh, unrealistic expectations that I'm going to release this into production tomorrow, as much as I would like to. Um, but we're going to have to wait uh, another couple of releases, I would think. So now we're in the app builder. I can see that. Um, my uh, calendar controls are here and there isn't just one of them there's two of them and it turns out what they've got is um, they've got a, a calendar display and then they've also got another component which allows you to choose the user uh, so you can switch between uh, different users calendars so that sounded encouraging um, so where are we going to put it well i thought i would set it a little bit of a test here and i noticed that We've now got the, the tabbed views are editable. So you see in the, in the main area here, we've got our two tabs. Uh, likewise, over here on the sidebar, uh, we've got our activity and our collaboration feed. Now, there seems to be more room over here on the, on the main section. So that's where we're gonna put it. And as I started to do this, I started to get a little bit excited because this is now giving me the power and the flexibility that I've been wanting for a long time. So what I've done now is to add myself a new tab to that tab component uh, and then select it. And now I should be able to drag and drop the controls in. So there's the calendar control itself. And let's put the user selector in. Make sure we put it in the right place. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we've got those two components uh, from our multi-view calendar um, housed nicely within the calendar tab. So I can go ahead and save that. And we need to activate it because we've now broken out of the, the default uh, provided page. So I'm just going to say, yep. Okay, and we should be done. So now if I go back, the application is going to restart. And we can see the Burlington record view. And we've got a calendar tab on there. Okay, so we've got our control on the page, which I'm pretty impressed with, I have to say. I like the use of tabs. Uh, takes me back to when we used to build systems with a lot of tabs. Maybe we're going to see that again. Um, but let's have a look at what the um, what the calendar actually uh, does in terms of its features. So you remember there was the two controls. We've got uh, the ability to choose uh, whose calendar we're looking at. We'll take a, uh, a look at that in a sec. Um, and then we've got the calendar control itself. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. These buttons could do with a little bit more styling, I would say, at first look. But this is the feature I really like. So you can see indicated on the day in question two blue spots. And if you click the spots, it shows you what those, uh, what those uh, events are. And uh, you can click through uh, to see them. So I thought that was pretty nice. Uh, definitely looks like a useful control from, from my point of view. So let's just go back to the Burlington account and have a look at the other feature for looking at other people's uh, calendars. So uh, let's say our user Sassy, we can look at Sassy's calendar and we can see there's an event uh, in a couple of days time for Sassy. What's that one? Oh, he's going to be at the Chicago World Tour. So yeah, I mean, all in all, I'm liking the, the features of this calendar. I certainly wouldn't want to write one of these myself. There's probably a lot of effort gone into that. Um, so for me, it's a perfect example of a, of a component at work. So good job, TerraSky. But what about mobile? We see here it says multi-view calendar for mobile. Uh, but let's see uh, how we'd go about putting that inside the Salesforce One mobile app. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to create a, um, a Lightning App page that we can then attach to the menu. Uh, so I've created that page already here. And if we go into the App Builder uh, to take a look at it, you can see it's a very simple page. It just acts as a container for the two controls. So I've chosen just a single uh, column because I want it to work on my phone. And um, I've added the two components to the page. So then if I activate that, let's put the uh, menu item a little higher up, that's now going to become available on my uh, Salesforce One menu. So if I get my phone here, I can go and have a look inside the Salesforce One app. There it is. And that's not a bad uh, attempt at a calendar, I would say. And that's a really good use of a component. Now, just the same as uh, we could on the desktop. We can look at Sassy's calendar. And we can see that Sassy's still going to the Salesforce One World Tour. We can click through to, uh, to that event. So I like it. So I hope you found that interesting. I certainly got a lot out of actually getting hands-on with the components and seeing what they can do. Um, from my point of view, it was a good first choice. Everything worked and uh, a nice example of how components can be put to use both on the desktop and in the mobile app. So thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again.